I remember when Red Bank did not have a traffic light on the corner of Mammoth Street and Broad Street. It had no traffic light. It has now. And they used to, in the summertime, when the town was busy, they would have a policeman with an umbrella uh, for shade that would, uh, he had a, a, a turn style and he would turn, it would turn the whole top and it had a stop and go sign on it. <laughs> So for the light to change or the traffic to change, the policeman had to go out to the center of the circle where the light is now and stand there and turn the knob, go and stop, go and stop. I remember that. Mm -hmm. I probably didn't. Back in 1930, it was no, a place, no. a working port, where I boats mean, came yes, and yes. farmers brought their... Yes, and food was brought in by boat from New York City. Uh, and the Wharf Avenue was a marketplace. To, there were stores. Uh, People would go there and buy food from New York that came from New York and buy wholesale. My dad, rem I remember my dad used to come home with a whole bunch of bananas, not a dozen bananas, but the whole, the whole bunch, and he would carry it. So we would, help, or I would bring my wagon and put it in the wagon. Uh, but that was the marketplace, and uh, on Saturdays was a very, very, Wharf Avenue was a very, very busy place. The population of Italians in the West Side was very high. My grandpa took it. Yeah. And the Italian children grew up and became doctors and lawyers and our knowns became a, a, a lawyer and became the mayor of Red Bank. John Arnold was a mayor of Red Bank at one time. His father was a butcher <laughs> on the corner across the street from the River Street School, the building on the corner was Arnon's butcher shop. Um, my he was a very good friend of mine. His father was a very good friend of mine. In fact, it was we borrowed Mr. Arnon's truck that he delivered groceries in because when I went to college I had to bring my own furniture. But I, in the dormitory they gave us a vacant room. You had to bring your own furniture. And he let us borrow the truck. And uh, we took our, my bed and my dr uh, dresser and the rug and uh, we fixed my room. I became a college boy. <laughs> and there were many, many, there were many students who became professionals from the West Side. <laughs>